What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, it's time to get some new shoes on the truck. So what I decided to go with is the Coker radials. Um, however, they are radials, but I wanted to maintain the look for the truck that came out of factory. If you remember in episode one, what I like um, is vehicles that look like they're factory, but have modern upgrades to make them more usable in today's roads, um, such as electronic ignition, um, things like that, that make it more reliable. Um, you can go out and drive it and survive in the new age of the roads that are definitely not like they were in the 50s. So these tires from an untrained eye will look just like the old bias supply tires. However, they are radial constructed. Now, these tires were not cheap, uh, about $270 a piece, ouch. Um, but the Coker is well known um, for this era of vehicle just because they make unique tires like this, which is probably a lot of the reason why they were so expensive. Um, they are white wall tires, so I'm maintaining that look. Um, and like I said, they will look just like bias ply tires, but be radial constructed, so they'll be a little bit more reliable. They won't have the hunting on the road when you hit grooves. And uh, I am excited to get these installed today. So without further ado, let's get it done. All right, so the truck is jacked up and ready for me to take the tires off. Um, who knows when the last time these tires and rims were taken off, but I guess we're about to find out. I think I'm about to start jacking on some lug nuts. Let's get them tires off. Four tires are off and looking old. See, tires like these are where a lot of people get in trouble. Um, whether it's an old truck like this or a modern car. So if you actually look at the tread, you can see the tread looks excellent. I would imagine barely any miles were put on these tires. And so you would think by looking at this on the outside that these tires are in great shape. But if you look closer, Look at those weather crackings. Good Lord. It's a wonder that we made it home with this thing, honestly. Being that they're bias plies and they're ate up. And you can see on the inside that that's not dirt. You know, that's actually <laughs> the outer flakes of the rubber coming off. So these tires are quite old. Um, I looked for a DOT number on these. I couldn't find it. Um, I'm, I have no doubt that it's there before y'all give me hell in the comments. I just don't care enough. I mean, look at the weather cracking. Do you really need to know how old these tires are? So let's uh, let's get these old tires off and uh, let's go take them down the road and get the new ones on. So something else I wanted to point out about these old tires is that they are 670-15s, meaning they're on 15 inch rims, 6.7 across. That is an old tire measurement. So I have no idea what the modern interpretation of that measurement would be. Um, but Coker does make tires based off of the old measurement size. So that's what made it easy with them. Oh my gosh. Look at these weather cracks. Woo! I don't think them tires would make another mile down the road. So we got the new tires on. We are on our way back. It actually took them about four hours to mount these things. Um, not because these guys are incompetent, because when they were shipped from Speedway Motors, uh, they were like the tires are kind of compressed in the packaging. 
which is great because the tires are protected. Uh, Speedway Motors did a really good job uh, protecting the white walls, you know, because the white walls are easy to get scratches and stains and whatever. So they, they put the white walls towards each other on the inside um, and they wrap them tightly for shipping. Um, unfortunately, the tire mounting shop, they have to take time, um, about an hour, an hour a tire um, to stretch the tires out so they'll properly meet where they're supposed to on the rim. So um, I gave those guys a little bit of a tip for doing it for me. And now we get to see what they look like. All right, so you can see behind me here, I have taken care of the wheels as well. So I figured, hey, I'm putting new tires on it. Let's go ahead and get the wheels looking good. So um, what I did was is I took a drill. In fact, let me show you that now. And of course, there's a more professional way to do this, but for now, this is pretty good. So I got a couple of these bits here. Um, one of them is fine and one of them is coarse. I started with the coarse, came back with the fine knocked off the rust. Um, then I came back with a paint by Rust-Oleum that goes over the rust areas um, that I just got done cleaning up. It neutralizes the rust um, and then makes it uh, paintable, meaning it's self etching. And then I just came back with a more glossy paint um, for the wheels and now I'm waiting for them to dry. So unfortunately, being that it's a little colder, um, I am impatient, but I'm probably going to have to wait tonight um, to put these wheels on tomorrow just to make sure that they're fully dry. But, come check them out. Man, look at them. Don't they look good? Look at that light reflection. It's going to look good. You can also tell quite obviously that I use blue painter's tape, a good quality blue painter's tape, to protect the white wall and the tire. You can always, it's always funny when someone doesn't do that, you can see paint on the wheel um, in addition to the tire, which is really tacky. So it's never understated that you really need to mask these tire off really well uh, when you're gonna be painting a wheel on the tire. And of course, eventually we might get these wheels sandblasted and spray painted properly um, for the color of the truck. We might do the body paint color, but for now, this is gonna look great. You know, rattle cans have really come a long ways in the olden days, even when I was younger, and I'm not that old, only in my early 30s. Um, man, rattle can cans have really come a long ways. Um, the, the spray pattern and the technology behind the paint is pretty amazing. Now, I still wouldn't paint the body of a vehicle with it, but for something like wheels or undercoating or something like that man they've really come a long ways all right so with that being said i will see you guys tomorrow bright and early well maybe not early but bright <laughs> and we'll put these new wheels on and see how they look all right so here we are it is a few days later i've been letting the wheels dry pretty good so i'm excited let's go put them on and see what they look like on the truck
go blind when I fall hard you turn me around and oh I hope you always be around well as you can see behind me the new wheels and tires are on and they look fantastic I'm really happy with these coker tires Man, they look original, but yet they are radial construction. So how awesome is that? Well, I can't wait to show you it going down the road. Um, as you can imagine, I'm quite excited to try to get this thing running, which will be hopefully in the next video. So, or at least maybe two videos. We'll see you on the guys on the next one. Bye.